All right, hello guys. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to upload a PDF to an Amazon Kindle because um, I did research online and um, I searched all over and I even tested uploading a file to the Amazon KDP, but um, no luck. It, it shows that uh, it comes out distorted, it auto formats, it does all this crazy stuff and it just comes out ridiculous. So after reading all the forms, it said that this was not possible. Actually, this is, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it today. So first thing, this is our uh, PDF. It's a book that uh, me and my writer were working on, and um, when I upload it to Amazon, I really wanted it to have all the graphics and things like this, because this is loaded with images on top of images and designs and things like that. But um, when I uploaded it to Amazon the first time, it came out garbage. It was it was terrible. But what I found out, or what um, after trial and error, I realized this is this is how you do it. So um, go into what I use is Adobe Illustrator. I'm really not sure how to do it any other way, but this is a way that I found very successful. And if you open up, this is that same file. Um, I saved it as a PDF from Illustrator, but this is the actual Illustrator file. So um, what I realized is if you click on um, each specific page and save as an image, and um, I'll show you here, just save it as a, a normal image. And um, I already did this, so I'll, to save some time, I'll show you guys. Each page is saved as a separate image, all right? And this is what you do. So you open up that. Wow, if I can bring this over here. Here we go. This is what you do. Go to those images. This is each one, as you will see once it loads. That's the first page, second page, third page. Same as you saw right here. Everything is same, just individual saved images. What you do is grab the first one. This is Adobe InDesign, so you guys all know. Um, I mean, if you don't have it, it's easily accessible, um, but this is the only way it works. So drag the image that you saved or downloaded to that bad boy. Once you click it, it shows up right there. And look, voila, you have your graphic. Bam. And you keep doing this until you get it, all of them saved. I have about uh, 114 pages, but I'll show you the first couple and I'll show you the full file. So, bam, just keep doing it over and over again. Make sure it's in it. Third one. Just so you get an idea. And then before you know it, you'll have a big, beautiful file like this. As you can see, every single page of that book is saved just as clear as it was in a PDF file and um, yeah so what you do from here from InDesign you can go into this bad boy and click export and with this once you export it we'll export it to downloads you can export it into an EPUB because EPUB Amazon Kindle accepts EPUBs and PDFs is what it distorts. So if you save it to EPUB, it comes out exactly as you see it here. So what we'll do is save. I really didn't mess with much of that stuff, but save. It's a big file, so let it do the, the color wheel of death.
All right, before you know it, it's automatically going to open up on this computer. But um, before you know it, bam, you have your ebook. And um, all right, before uh, we ran out of space there, um, you'll see that this is the EPUB file. This is what Amazon accepts. And um, what we basically did was just save the images of that PDF onto here. And um, as you'll see, once we upload it to Amazon, it'll come out exactly as you see it. No changes. Perfect. So here we go. I've already gone through and browse contact. This is a KDP website for all those familiar with it who have uh, been struggling with this for a little bit. Um, once you browse content file and um, you upload that EPUB, which you'll see right there, it'll upload just like uh, you were uploading your PDF, and then this is how it'll come out. The only difference with um, doing it this way is you will not be able to um, on Kindles, you can adjust the text size and um, do different fonts and things like that. For this, unfortunately, it stays one same size, um, but I mean, you can still see your, your perfectly formatted file. So this is it. And this is on the Fire HDX. You can choose different versions, but um, this is basically how it'll come out. You're totally capable of seeing it. and um, I mean, it works instead of them automatically formatting and screwing everything up. And then, um, so you can see on different devices, that looks terrible, but like on iPhone, for instance, bam, totally legible. You can still sell your book um, and you can keep it the format that I mean, Kindle people aren't usually used to seeing. And um, after that, you should be able to upload without a problem, upload and conversion successful, save and continue, and go on with your day. So um, with that, I say good luck to you. If you have any questions, uh, hit the comments. Um, thank you, guys.